Hey, it's Coach Reeves. Today I'm going to show you how to write quadratic equations in different situations. Okay? So look what the directions ask us to do. They're going to ask you to write each equation in vertex form. This is vertex form. And we're going to use the given information. What are they going to give me? They're going to give me the vertex and they're going to tell me what point it contains. Okay? So remember, if they give me the vertex, this is my vertex here. That's your vertex. They're going to give me a point. This point is going to be an X and a Y value. So the only value that they're not going to give me that we're going to solve for is our A value. So let's look at the situation. The equation says Y. What is my Y value? Well, this is my vertex. This is your H. This is your K. Remember how we talked about that in our last video, that that vertex is known as H and K. But my y value, what is my y value? My y value is zero. So instead of a y, let's go ahead and write this. y equals a x minus h squared plus k. My y value, my y value is zero equals. I don't know what my a is. That's what we're going to solve for. So we're going to say a. And then we're going to say, what is my x value? My x value is a negative 3. Minus. Please put the minus. See how it says minus? Please put the minus sign right there. Okay? Then what is my h value? My h value is a negative 4. It is very important that you put the minus sign right there because now this is going to change if you see what I'm talking about. Squared. Please don't forget your squared, your exponent. And then my k value, my k value is a minus 1. So now we're going to follow our order of operations. We're going to do what's inside the parentheses first. So inside the parentheses, I'm going to go minus a negative 4, which is I'm going to treat it like that. It's a plus. So negative 3 plus 4. Negative 3 plus 4 is 1. So what this is, is 0 equals a parentheses 1 squared minus 1. Now what is 1 squared? 1 squared is 1. But here's what I need you to make sure you pay attention. I need to multiply these together. a is next to the parentheses, so that means multiplication. And when you do your order of operations, your PEMDAS, you're supposed to multiply before you subtract. This is very, 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 very tempting. So what I'm going to ask you to do is when you get to this situation that you move the one to the other side before you multiply. Get it out of the way. As a matter of fact, we can even do it here at the very beginning to move it to the other side so we're not tempted to use addition or subtraction. It's the biggest downfall that we have when we do this. People, it's so inviting that they want to add or subtract instead of multiplying. So if we move this to the other side, we would do plus 1, plus 1, and I would get 1 equals, in this case, what is A times 1 again? A times 1 is A. There is my A value. That is what's missing. Because we're going to write it in vertex form. All we need to do now is substitute in the A value and the vertex value. So go back to your original problem and it says this is vertex form. This is how I want you to write your answer. Y equals, what is my A value? My A value is a 1. Parentheses, X. Don't put the numbers in here. We don't want the numbers. You tell me X. And now look at your vertex. What's the opposite of a negative 4? Plus 4. Parentheses squared. And what is my k value? So what did I ask you to put in here? I asked you to find your a value. I asked you to substitute in your h value. I asked you to substitute in your k value. That's what I want to see in your final answer. Now here's the big question. Coach, if my a value is a 1, do I really need to write it? No. But we're doing this as a teaching point. You can write it. You don't write it. 
you know if there's a one here, it's not necessary. And it's probably better if you don't write it, okay? All right, let's try another problem. Here's my vertex, okay? So if you wanted to, you could get started and you could say, all right, coach, I'm gonna go y equals, I don't know what my a value is, but I'm gonna substitute in, I'm gonna substitute in x, what's the opposite of minus eight squared, my back number is plus seven. So all I did was I substituted in my vertex. That's all I did is I put in my vertex. But now I need to find my A value. How do I find my A value? Well, what did we give you? We give you an X value and a Y value to substitute in to find your A value. So we're gonna substitute those in. We're gonna say that my Y value is five. I still don't know what my A value is. That's unknown. My x value, my x value is a nine minus eight squared plus seven. Remember what I said, this is very tempting. We could move this first so we don't make a silly careless error by adding or subtracting. If I moved it, I would go minus seven, minus seven, and I would get negative two over here. Do you understand? That's a negative two. So then I go, this is gone, this is gone, and what do I have? I have A times, what is nine minus eight? Nine minus eight is one squared. So that's gonna be A times one, which is A. You're gonna find out that negative two equals A. That's the only thing we were missing from our original problem, my A value, come on. My A value was the only thing that was missing. So now all I have to do is come up to my problem where I started and I put in my two. And I say that A equals a negative two. And there's my equation. That's all I'm asking you to find right now. Okay, how did we do that? Substitute in your vertex. And then they're gonna give you a point that our graph contains and you substitute that in to find your A value. Got it? All right, so we keep going. Now they're gonna ask you to write it in standard form. What is standard form? This is standard form. Now this is the second form I've given you. I've given you vertex form, which we do, and now this is standard form. You have to memorize and know the difference, okay? All right, y equals ax squared plus bx plus c. I know you did the quadratic formula where probably when you were in algebra one, so you should already know that this is A, this is B, this is C, okay? But what are we gonna do? I'm gonna ask you to take this vertex form and change it to standard form. So I'm gonna ask you to do your order of operations. I'm gonna ask you to take care of your exponent first. I've gotta take care of X plus one squared first. So that means I need to go x plus one times x plus one. I need to multiply that. If you're a box person, box it. If you're a foil person, foil it. But you need to do this parentheses squared first. No matter what, that's what you do first. And if I was to multiply this, it would be x times x, which would be x squared, distribute. x times one would be a positive one x, then we go one times x is another positive one x. And then we would go one times one would be one. This, when I put it all together, this is going to give me x squared plus two x plus one. That's this, that's my, my form. So I'm gonna bring down this other stuff. I had a y equals I ended up with that after I multiplied, but what do I have in front? I have a two in front, and what do I have at the back end? I have a plus seven. I need to do distributive property now. So I will distribute, I will say two times x squared is two x squared. Two times two x is four x. 
2 times 1 is 2. But wait, I have a plus 7. I need to combine like terms, and my final answer is y equals 2x squared plus 4x. 2 plus 7 is 9. There's my final answer. Let's try another one. Okay? Remember what I said. What are we going to do first? Let me get this out of the way. Hopefully you can see that. Maybe take a picture if you need to. Back it up. We need to take care of what is inside the parentheses first. Take care of your parentheses first. That says x minus 6 times x minus 6. So we're going to multiply. We do distributive property. x times x will give me x squared. x times negative 6 will give me a negative 6x. Negative 6 times x is another negative 6x. Negative 6 times negative 6 is a positive 36. When I combine like terms, now I am looking at x squared minus 12x plus 36. I bring down the rest of the problem with it. So I'm going to bring down my y equals. This is what I got. I bring down my 1 fourth, and then I have my minus 10 at the back end. Don't panic with the fraction. You can do this because I gave you some easy numbers. All right, so you distribute. And 1 fourth times x squared is 1 fourth x squared. 1 fourth times negative 12. 1 fourth times negative 12 is going to give you a negative 3 x. 1 fourth times 36. 1 fourth times 36 will be a positive 9. Okay? All it is is you're dividing by 4. Okay? And then you have the minus 10. We combine like terms. We combine like terms and my final answer would be y equals 1 fourth x squared minus 3x. 9 minus 10 is a negative 1. There's my final answer. So the big thing is, what should I do first? You need to take care of your parentheses first. Do your FOIL or do your box method to do that. Okay? Let's keep going. Here they're going to ask you to write an equation in vertex form and then convert it to standard. Okay? Probably won't do both of these, but here. Let's look at our vertex. Our vertex is right there. Okay? So we're going to write this in vertex form. We're going to say that it's going to be y equals, it's got to be a negative. It's opening downward. I, got to, I have to have a negative. Okay? I need to figure out, I don't know what my a value is. That's the tough guy. I don't know what my a value is. But I do know I can find my vertex. My vertex will be located where? I'm going to be at 1, 2, 3, 4. 1, 2. My vertex is at 4, 2. So I know how to put that in. I can put that in by taking the opposite and getting x minus 4, parentheses squared, plus 2. So all we need to do is if we can pick a point, if we can find a point that is on the graph, we can find our a value just like we did previous. We go up here and we find up here, hey, look at this, right there. That point is on the graph. That's going to be at 1, 2, 3, 1. 3, 1 is on the graph. There is my x value. There is a y value. I can substitute that in, and now I can solve for my a value. Okay? Well, there's another way we did this. Remember how we did this earlier? We could do the pattern. If you really want to impress me, use what we used on the other worksheet. And remember the pattern? 1, 1, 2, 4. 1, 1 is normal. That means my A value equals 1. Whether I open upward or whether I open downward, if I go 1, 1 and I'm on the graph, my A value will be 1. Okay? Look at this situation. 1, 1. 
one, one. It's on the graph. My A value will be a one. But in this case, since I'm opening downward, it would be a negative one. But we're going to do the math just to prove that we understand what's going on. Okay? So we're going to substitute in a three and a Y. My Y value is one. I, I don't know my A value. We're going to play like we don't know our A value. We don't know anything. So we're going to find our A value. So I'm not going to use the minus sign, even though I know it's going to open downward, we're going to solve for the A value, okay? X, my X is 3, minus 4, parentheses squared, plus 2. Remember, we're going to remove the distraction first. We're going to get it out of the way so we're not tempted to use it at the wrong time. So we're going to jump in and we're going to say minus 2, minus 2. This will cancel. I have one minus two, which is a negative one, equals a times, what is this? Three minus four is a negative one squared. What is negative one times negative one? One. And what is one times a? A. So you're gonna find out that negative one equals a. So when we substitute this back into the problem, when we substitute this back into the problem, there we are, negative one. There's our equation. It's what we said it was gonna be. We knew it was gonna be negative because we were opening downward and we saw the pattern of one, one, which meant it was normal and my A value equals one. I told you that pattern would help you later on, okay? So now we're gonna ask us to take this equation and they're gonna ask us to convert this to standard form. That's what we just got through doing. So we're gonna convert this to standard form. So we take our equation, y equals a negative one, x minus four squared plus two. What are we supposed to do first? What are we supposed, well, we were taught in the previous problem to take care of that first. So we have to go x minus four times x minus four. I'm gonna speed this up. I'm gonna do this pretty quick because you've already been doing a lot of practice. Well, I'll do it anyway. You need to practice. Distribute x times x, x squared. x times negative four, negative four x. Negative four times x is another negative four x. Negative four times negative four is a positive 16. So when I put this together, I'm gonna to look at x squared minus eight x plus 16. That's what I got. But we're gonna bring the rest of it down with it. We're gonna bring that down and we're gonna say the y equals a negative one and we have a plus two at the back end. Okay, we distribute the negative one. We get y equals, we distribute negative one times x squared is a negative x squared. Negative one times a negative eight x is a positive eight x. Negative one times 16 is a negative 16, but I have this plus two at the back end. So after I combine like terms, my final answer is gonna be y equals negative x squared plus eight x minus 14. That's my final answer. So what did we do on this type of problem? We had the vertex, and if I found a point on the graph. Now this one turned out easy. We found a point on the graph, okay? You just pick a point on the graph and you substitute it in just like we did on the previous problem and solve for your A value. All right, now this is the tricky one. This is gonna take you a little bit of work, okay? They're gonna give you three points, three ordered pairs, and we're gonna write our final equation in standard form. So we have to think about that. What is standard form? Standard form is y equals ax squared plus bx plus c. You're gonna need that. You need to pay attention, okay? They're gonna give you three ordered pairs. Watch how you do this, be patient. 
This is an X, this is a Y. This is an X, this is a Y. This is an X, this is a Y. Do you believe me? Okay, so we're gonna substitute it and we're gonna create three equations. And then we're gonna use our calculator to solve a three equation system. We've already taught you how to use the calculator, but how do we come up with those three equations? Check this out. Y, what is my Y value? We take it one equation at a time. I'm gonna color code it so you know what we're doing. But what is my Y value right here? It is an eight. We need an eight. That's my Y value. Do you understand? Equals. I don't know what A is, but I know what my X value is. What is my X value? My X value is a two. We have to substitute in here and we're gonna have a two squared. Because it says X is two, so what is two squared? Two squared is four. This will give me a four A. Where did I get that? The two went here, we squared it, and we got a four. Plus, what is my X value still? It hasn't changed, what's my X value? It is a two. So we go X is two. What is B times two? Two B. So we substituted my Y value, we substituted my X value, and then multiplied it times A. We substituted my X value and multiplied it times B. We don't have anything for C, so we just leave it as C. You see how, that's our first equation. How are we doing? You okay? Now we're gonna use the blue ordered pair. What is my Y value? My Y value is 24. So we're gonna put a 24 right here. What is my X value? My X value is six. My X value is six. They're gonna ask you to square your X value. What is six times six? 36. A times 36 is 36 A. All right, plus, what is my X value again? My X value is still six. This says B times six. B times six? is we're gonna write this as 6B. Again, we don't have anything for the C value, we just keep it as the letter C. Now, we're gonna do the purple ordered pair. What is my Y value? My Y value is 17. So we're gonna write 17. My X, they asked me to square the X. So my X value is negative one. What is negative one? times negative one. It is a positive one. So we're gonna write one A. Do you need the one? No, but we're gonna put it now just for teaching. But if you don't need it, don't write it. My X value, my X value is still negative one. B times negative one is a negative B or a negative one B. Your call, okay? We're gonna not put it this time. The C value stays there. Now look what you have. You have three equations. But you're gonna say, Coach, I'm not sure how to put this in my calculator with A, B, and C. Then don't. Change it to X, Y, and Z. So we're gonna come in here and we're gonna change all of my A values. We're gonna change all of the A's to X's. We're gonna change all the B's to Y's. We're gonna change all the C's to what? Z's. This is what we're going to put into the calculator, okay? We're going to put A equals 4X plus 2Y plus Z, okay? We're going to put that into the calculator. It's going to spit out an answer, okay? So let's see if we can get this. It's going to take me a little bit. I need to transfer this to my calculator. 8X, or excuse me, 8 equals 4X plus 2Y plus Z. So we're gonna go menu, algebra, systems, okay? We need to change this to a three, remember that? Change this to a three. And then we need to get it down to where it goes to Z and then we get into okay. And we have to put this system in. All right, do you remember what it said? It said eight equals four 
x plus 2y plus z. A equals 4y plus 2, I mean 4x plus 2y plus z. Now, let's go back and look at this. A equals 4x plus 2y plus z. Next time, we're going to say 24 equals. 24 equals 36x plus 6y plus z. 24 equals 36. Twenty four equals thirty six X plus six Y plus Z. Twenty four equals the oh plus six Y plus Z. And we gotta go back. And we have seventeen equals X minus Y plus Z. Seventeen. 17 equals x minus y plus z. Enter. Now, look what you have. You have to memorize this. This is your x, y, z normally. But what did this used to be? We changed these letters so we could put them into the calculator. What were those three values before we changed it? Remember what we did? This used to be an A, this used to be a B, and that used to be a C. We changed it so we could put it into the calculator. This is my A value, my B value, my C value. 1, negative 4, 12. So we get 1, negative 4, 12. This is what we got in parentheses. That's what I, that's what I said on the worksheet. What are your parentheses? This is what you get. Remember, this is your A, this is your B, this is your C. All you need to do is substitute for your A, your B, and your C. So you'll say Y equals 1X squared. The 1 is optional. Minus 4X plus 12. Now, this is a little bit tricky, but if you practice it, you're going to be fine. If you have any questions, just email us or talk to us in a Zoom, and we'd be more than happy to help you. Good luck.